Hi everyone! So today I have another Timu haul. I do have a coupon code with them. It is FAB45575. If you are a new user to the app or to the website, you put in this code, you can save 30%. If you're a returning customer, I'm not exactly sure how it works as far as coupons and discounts, but if you put this code in the search bar, it will take you to my page where I have all the items that I have purchased and shared with you guys, but I'll also be leaving a link down below in the description box. So this was $4.49. Now, I was searching for tissue paper, but this wrapping paper came up, and I really, really wanted it because I loved the pumpkins. So, it is a pretty large piece of wrapping paper, and thank goodness it did not come bent or damaged. So, there is this pumpkin one, there is this skull and bone one, and then there is this little pumpkin and skull then I love this one. This one gives me like vintage vibes as well. And they're all printed like on this craft paper. Let me open it up and show you. So that's why like the color's not very bright and vivid because it is on this like brownish paper. But I still love it. I think this would be really good for like junk journals or scrapbooking even is what I want to use the pumpkins for. I got two of these. They were $1.87. Oh man, they're really thin. Okay, I'm really excited for this. So this does have a plastic cover on here. So you're going to take this part off, but I'm gonna leave it on for now because I'm not ready to use it. And then the same thing on this side as well. You see, you just pull that off. And then it's gonna be this clear little top. But like I said, I'll take that part when I'm ready to use it. But I have been wanting to do like a little shadow box, um, they call it like the little cabinet of curiosities and stuff. So what you can do with these, and these are super tiny and so cute. You can get like these little like flat backs and like put them in there. So it's like a little display case or even some thin beads. So that's what I want to do eventually with this is go ahead and put little odds and ends in here and decorate it. Oh, that one's too big. So I got two because I wanted to do one for Halloween and one for Christmas. Oh, see that beetle charm fits in there. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so fun to see what I have that will fit in here and just make like a little shadow box display. I think that's gonna be so, so cute. If this works out great, I'll definitely be purchasing more. So I have some for like all the little holidays, like a little spring one, you know, that'd be really cute. So can't wait to play with that. I'll definitely do a video on this one once I get it all going. So you guys know how much I love Disney. So this was $1.38 and it looks like the Haunted Mansion wallpaper, but it has like Mickey in here. I thought that was super, super cute. So I love it. It's a little sticker that I'm going to be using for like my scrapbook. For $1.31, I got another pair of wire cutters. I've got these before from them, but after using them so much, you know, they do get little like nicks and start to wear down and they're not as sharp. So I mean, for under two bucks, it's not a bad deal just to go ahead and get another pair. So the ones that I've been using on my jewelry that are a little bit worn down, I put those to use solely for my die cuts. And then these I will use for my jewelry and then i had another one that's for my die cuts and i'll just probably toss that one out so my family does have an upcoming disney cruise very soon and i wanted to make little bracelets to go ahead and just give out so i got these little wade um clay charms right here so i thought these were really really cute i got a couple more different characters that i'm going to share with you guys so this was, I think, like 50 pieces for the 77 cents. Because there are my other little characters, $1.99, and I got Daisy Duck. How stinking cute are these? These are going to be so cute to go ahead and make little bracelets out of. Again, for $1.99, I got Donald. And then this one was really cool. This one was 100 pieces. And these were, these don't say, but I think these were 50 as well. So for 100 pieces for $3.31. This one gives you like all the little characters right here. So even though I have Donald and Daisy right here, I just liked these better. 
So you can see the difference. I just thought these were cuter, so that's why I went ahead and I got those. But I have Mickey here. I have Goofy. Like, look at how good Goofy looks. And then I have Minnie Mouse and Pluto. Like, how incredibly cute are these? They're so, so cute. I just love them so much. So how cool are these acrylic pieces right here? They come in a dangly of three. And you get ten in the package for $3.14. Now these do have that little film on them, again, to keep them from scratching. So you just need to take that off when you're ready to use them. So I'm gonna actually be taking these apart. I don't think I'm gonna leave any of them together. I'm gonna take them apart and just use them as little filler pieces for my little bee dangle. So instead of having 10, I'm gonna end up with 30 pieces for $3.14. That's an amazing deal, you guys. I love Timu so much. It's just so, so affordable. Especially when you're trying to craft on a budget. It's just, I love it. For $4.24, I got this pack of beads right here. I love any beads that have little rhinestones. And these sparkle so nicely. They're really, really pretty. So, perfect for my Halloween crafting. I'm definitely going to pull out some of these greens. And purple is probably used for my little Beetlejuice Chunky Charm that I want to make next. So these beads right here are $2.75. And can you tell how much I love them that I bought four <laughs> packs? I was so afraid that they were going to sell out and not come back. Because sometimes Timu sells things and then they don't restock and they get discontinued. So I was so worried that these were not going to come back. So I made sure to stock up on them because I just absolutely love them. I love that it has that little iridescent shine. And I want to do a Jack Skellington, you know, project. So I thought these would be perfect for that. So I definitely needed to stock up when I do my little items. Like if you guys have followed me on Instagram, I was posting my little Beetlejuice. So I did a Pokey tool, a beatable pen, and then I'm working on a Chunky Charm now. So I definitely need a lot of the same supplies because I make multiples when I make them. So I definitely need to talk about this because I think they're just so, so cute. So this little pack of these right here was 20 pieces for $4.77 and I had to get two. I absolutely fell in love with the spider web bead right here. And again, I thought this would go really good for my Jack Skellington project. I wanted to do black and white for that. So I thought that was really perfect. And then this one right here too reminds me of the pumpkins from Nightmare Before Christmas. So I had to get two packs of those. I honestly should have got more like I did those bats because I really, really love them. So there are these little ghosties so here's the black ones but you can see that they are different little ghosties in here let me try to get them all together so you can see that there are different patterns here is the other guy so there's four different ghosty patterns and then there are three different um jack-o-lantern faces so there's those three and then there is the ghosty that matches these over here, but in white. So you get all these little ghost patterns in the white one as well, but not all the packs have it. So like this pack didn't have it, but this one does have the other little ghosties over here in white. Oh, look, there's a different pattern right there. So that's pretty cool that the mix definitely are mixes and they are not the same. So yeah, I honestly will probably be buying more of these as well. These were 10 for $1.50. Now they are different. You can see that these have like little lines. So they have like little textures to them. They look more like a pumpkin where these other ones right here were just around. And they were only $1.50, which was a really good deal. And then these do have that little like oil slick multi-color to them. I don't know if the camera's really picking it up. So I had bought some other ones like this, but they were just orange. It didn't have like this little iridescent shine to them. And it's not like a very strong shine, but it is there in person. So that's why I went ahead and I picked those up. And then I got these, these were $2.46. Uh, 
and they are the little pumpkin from the pale boxes from mcdonald's so they did have the pumpkin and the ghost but they were sold out by the time i found these so i just got the witch and i'll definitely be going back to see if i could possibly pick up the other ones they might be in stock or i might be able to just keep searching and end up finding them so i definitely want to collect all of the three different buckets that they have these are $2.31, so I got these because they are great little spacers for beatable pins. So they're nice and flat and pretty, but then they have that large hole, bigger than what you need for the beatable pin. So that's going to work out perfect as like little spacers. So there are four different colors for that. Oh, five. There's like a little like gray one here. So that's really perfect and cute. And they did have other colors of those, but again, I'm sticking with all the Halloween colors right now. Okay, these ended up being so much smaller than what I thought they were going to be. They're still really, really cute, but I had some in the past that were larger than this. So they're like a crystal skull for nail art. And they were 20 pieces for 79 cents. And these did come in different colors as well, but... Yeah, they're a lot tinier than what I thought they were going to be, but they're still going to be really good. I'm going to be using these in the center of my bows, so stay tuned. I have a video coming up of where I'm going to be cutting up some of that fake leather and then putting a little um, charm right here in the middle. And then I'm going to show you guys how I go ahead and I dangle like my little beads off of there. I've had um, tutorials of bows in the past, and I just always love how I can add a little beads and just like jazz them up. So these were uh, $2.18, so they are beads, super cute. Last year I found the peppermint ones for Christmas, so I'm so happy that this year they have some Halloween themed ones. So I got some large ones that were black and white, and these are the smaller size. So just do be aware they do come in two different sizes, so just look at your description and look at which you are picking these are so, so stinking cute. I cannot wait to use those. I think they're just going to be great. They're really, really dark, though. So I really love it. You guys know I'm into the dark, spooky vibes. So for $1.31, I got these little earrings. How cute is it that Stitch is Jack and Scrump is Sally? I just thought these were absolutely adorable. I'm kind of debating if I want to wear these as earrings or use them as part of my Nightmare Before Christmas little project that I want to work on. But these do have that little plastic film on them as well. So just take your nail and kind of just like rub over the corner and then you'll be able to lift up that little plastic film off of these. This is not coming up as easy as the other one did, but you can definitely see that there's a little plastic film to there so they don't get scratched. But they're so cute. So my last item for today was a dollar ninety-seven. It comes in this super cute little packaging. This divider does not move, which is my favorite. And then I love these. So I am going to be using these for my beatable pins. So that way I can go ahead and just dangle a little like chunky charm off of the beatable pin. So this goes through the pin and then right here is your little loop where you just add a jump ring and then go ahead and dangle a charm or a chain or whatever you would like i specifically picked this one because it came in gold and silver so i love using silver for halloween and then i basically use gold for the rest of the year halloween's the only time i basically use silver so these are going to work out perfect for me and exactly what i want to go ahead and finish creating so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Like I said, I'll link everything down below in the description box for you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I did do a video explaining how I go ahead and get my price adjustments from Timu and just some like tips and tricks. So definitely go check that video out if you haven't seen it already. And we'll see you later. Bye guys.